well, every future Marvel director, take notes from this. How do you do, y'all? This is John, and today we are talking about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, a new movie out in theaters right now. And in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, the Guardians of the Galaxy are once again called upon when one of their members, Rocket, is being hunted by the man responsible for him being like this cybernetic thing. And he has Adam Warlock helping him. Okay, so to get things started, first and foremost, what I liked about the movie, right off the bat, at the beginning of the movie, you know this is going to be a very different animal compared to the other two Guardians of the Galaxies. Because the other two, they started off really funny and stuff. But this one, it's just kind of sad. And I don't mean sad in a bad way. I mean in the, a good way. Because the movie itself is basically an emotional roller coaster. Every now and then... You get your typical James Gunn Guardians of the Galaxy funny moments. However, every now and then as well, you just get this emotional gut punch of a moment. Especially with Rocket's backstory. Rocket's backstory, it has very few laughs in it. Because it's a very tragic and dark backstory to a character. And I completely understand why they did that, because there was nothing fun about learning Rocket's backstory. It was screwed up learning what the heck happened to him. But again, in a good way. And while the story is a bit of a run-of-the-mill Marvel movie story, they at least did some different things with it, because it's not the fate of the world that's at stake. This is the fate of the team itself. Because again, the villain's after the team. He's not He's not exactly plotting world domination, but he is doing things that are just plain wrong. And let's talk about the villain here. Because he is uniquely different from Marvel. All the other villains... From the good ones like Kang to the bad ones like, what's his name, the Dark Elf Leader? I forget his name. The majority of them want world domination. Every now and then you get someone a little different like Thanos. And this guy, I forget his name exactly, it's the High something or other. This dude is just screwed up. Completely. His whole thing is, is he has this quest to make the world perfect, which in and of itself is futile, but also the things to make the universe perfect are horrible things. Massacres, genocide, human and animal experimentation, like, this stuff's just awful. And you also get the idea that he genuinely believes what he's doing is right, even though it's not. So there's a lot of high tension going on, and you give a hang about what's going on. Guys in the end, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. I'm having issues thinking of what I did not like about the movie, but it surprisingly has a solid story. The film has good timing. Going between funny moments and moments of high tension and moments of seriousness. It has a good feeling. And the film is just simply what Marvel should look at in the future for the MCU. Take notes from this and you're going to have a bunch of good movies in the future. They won't. I know this. But they should. I'm going to give Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 a 10. How on earth can a Marvel movie in 2023 be this good? Well, that's all the time I have for today. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Please also subscribe if you're new to the channel. And as always, please remember, 
the Bradetsky will return.